you follow motor racing? No, not at all. Ah. I will have to put my trust in the audience, Chris. They help, Paddy. You got £4,000. Have a look. Audience, on your keypads, please. This is worth £8,000. Which British racing driver was Formula One champion in 1992? A, B, C or D, please, on your keypads. It's worth £8,000. All vote now. Um, four percent Jackie Stewart, eighty-six percent, very high percentage. Uh, say Nigel Mansell, seven uh, percent Damon Hill, three percent Eddie Irvin. It's up to you. I'll have to trust them because I don't. You know. don't have to. You don't have to trust these people. <laughs> but I will trust them. The play? Yes. Final answer. Final answer. You got eight thousand pounds. <laughs> Okay, you've got £8,000. Let's see if we can make it up to 16. You've got a 50 50 and you can phone a friend. You've got eight out of eight, right? This is question number nine. You don't have to play this. If you gave me a wrong answer, the money now starts getting a bit serious. You would lose £7,000. But if you play it and give me the right answer, it's worth £16,000. Take your time. Doctor Who famously wore a very long scarf when he was played on TV by which actor? You know this one. What do you think? Tom Baker. Okay. Hope he comes up. Let's see. Tom Baker. Ah. Patrick Troughton. John Pertwee. Colin Baker. A. Tom Baker. Final answer. Yes. You just won sixteen thousand. <laughs> You've got sixteen thousand pounds. You've still got two lifelines. You've got fifty-fifty and phone a friend. The next question, number ten. Some serious money tonight. Number 10 is worth £32,000. I'd be delighted to write you out to check on the spot for at least that amount of money, but you don't have to play it. If you gave me a wrong answer, you would drop back to £1,000. You'd lose £15,000 at least. You got a 50 50, you got phone a friend. This is question number 10 of 15. You are six away from one million. Take your time, have a look. Which MP was formerly a Tiller girl? Mo Molum. Margaret Beckett, Betty Boothroyd, Glenda Jackson. I have to say, it's difficult to imagine any of them. Which MP was formerly a Tiller girl? Mo Molum, Margaret Beckett, Betty Boothroyd, Glenda Jackson. One of those is worth £32,000, guaranteed. You've got a 50 50, you've got to phone a friend. I think I'll phone a friend. Who should we phone? Norman. Norma? <coughs> Norman. Oh, Norman! I'm so sorry. Norman. OK, we'll phone Norman. OK. Don't have to take his answer, but it's worth £32,000 if he can give you the right answer. You've still got a 50-50. You can walk away after all that. You can play both lifelines and walk away with 16000 OK. Where is Norman? My dad. Oh, your dad? Oh, your dad, Norman? My dad. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Norman? Yeah, who is it? Quick. It's, it, no, it's all right. It's Chris Tarrant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Oh, yes. Hello, Hello. Chris. Good grief. Oh, good grief. Good news. <laughs> Norm, good news. I've got Lisa, your daughter, here. Have you? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. Listen, good news. She's fastest finger first. She's in the millionaire chair. Yes. At this moment, Norman, your little girl is worth £16,000. Wonderful. But it gets Absolutely better, Norman. Wonderful. Norman, it gets better. No pressure on you, but, Dad, if you can give her the right answer, it's worth £32,000 to her. Oh, let's hope. Let's hope. OK, the next voice you hear will be your daughter's. I think you recognise it. Um, she'll have 30 seconds to tell you the question and four possible answers. Three of those are wrong. If she went for them, they would cost her £15,000. If you can give her the right answer, it's worth £32,000 at least. Right. OK, Norman. All right, Lisa, your time starts now. Dad, which MP was formerly a Tiller girl? Was it Mo Molum, Margaret Beckett, Betty Boothroyd, or Glenda Jackson?
Dad? Repeat, repeat. Which MP was yeah, Mo Yeah, that, yeah. Mo Mola, Margaret Beckett, Betty Boothroyd, Glenda Jackson. I don't know, Lee. So <laughs>